take out another hedge, this one's even bigger. I mean, that's, uh, I don't know, I'd say every bit of, I don't know, I'd say every bit about 13, 14 inches. So a lot of times I feel like I can get under that root and then I push it and it uses those teeth on the top of that, uh, on the top of that puller to, to really get with it. And obviously, you know, I'm pushing more than I'm pulling, I'm trying to get those lo the roots loosened up, because this is a multi-stem, it's got, you know, three, four, five trees in there. using the, uh, the cap protector there to kind of force it over, leverage. I think I could get it up right there and out of there, but we're going to go to the other side. Um, I see there's three or four big roots underneath here, so let's see if we can get them. We ought to be able to control the tree and get these roots cut up, broken up. See, that? that's what I'm talking about. I'm cutting them with those top teeth. And I feel like I've got more, more power doing that than I do, you know, trying to, trying to lift them up like this. It, it seems like it's got, you know, it's a better technique, I guess. I mean, that's a big dude. It doesn't even want to fit in the jaws of the puller. I don't know if you can tell how big this is, but... Yeah. 